you, we got one more story. And it's a story of a selfie. And it's our young reporter from Calgary, Kean Bexty. And um, he was just on the streets of his city, prowling for stories. And he came upon an old lady. And he posed for a photo. And lo and behold, I don't know who asked whom for the selfie. Did she ask him or did he ask her? They're both sort of famous. And he tweeted it. Great to catch up with my good friend Rachel Notley. And then tears of joy. Tears of joy. And look at her. She, look at that smile. That's not fake. That is a deep happiness. There's different kinds of happiness. There's, there's like laughing and humor. There's, there's, a, there's a satisfaction there. There's a joy. Look at the squinting, squinty eye smile. That's a joy that says, I'm home, you know? She is the former premier of Alberta, a hardcore socialist named Rachel Notley. He, the future of news, grassroots guerrilla journalist, himself in a camera, scouring the city, even at night, for news. And oh, I got to tell you, this photo caused a ruckus, a ruckus. It was like all them chickens, show them chickens, that photo was tweeted and all the new democrats said what this is a forbidden love it's like romeo and julia those houses the capulets and the mondegos rachel don't you know first of all he's too young for you you know second of all you're not supposed to be friends with him her own party it was like the chickens it was like the chickens That's what it was like. Oh, the rage that poured out over. I thought it was beautiful. I think that you should be able to have friendships with people across the aisle. You know, I mean, especially for conservatives, if you don't have some liberal friends, you're probably going to be lonely because I think the dominant politics uh, in the pop culture are liberal. I think it's okay to have some liberal friends. You're going you're gonna to cut yourself off from interesting people. Politics don't have to be a veto over everything. But wow, did Rachel Notley ever get it from her own friends? They were outraged at her. Look, the heart loves who it's going to love. What are you going to say? No, no, I don't feel that way. Put that picture up. Look at the love there. Look at those, that, that she smiles with her eyes. Will you give Rachel credit? Click the picture to blow it up bigger. Give me a zoom in on the picture if you can. Look at that. She is smiling with her eyes. And Kean, with his piercing eyes, goes straight to your soul. Look at those two. If I didn't know better, I'd say Rachel got herself a new boy toy. I'm kidding. It's just platonic. I was just joking. But that is the kind of picture the two lovers out for a Christmas stroll would show. That's the kind of picture that you take if you want to convince the immigration minister that it is not an arranged marriage where you bought yourself a boy toy from Sweden and you're just trying to fill in a backstory. Here's us at the Christmas market. I know it looks like it's more. I promise you it was just a platonic friendship. I promise you. I'm not casting aspersions. I know Rachel Notley is married, and there was nothing intimate about this other than the intimacy of friendship. So please don't take this to... I'm just saying it looks like the kind of warmth and personal connection that two lovers would have. I'm not saying they are lovers. I'm so, I'm, let me be crystal clear. I'm not being ironic. I'm not being jokey or sarcastic. They're just friends. They're just friends. But the picture, there was something so real about it. That's what set off the left. They raged at her. Why do they always pick on the woman? Why didn't they pick on Kean? I don't know who asked whom for a selfie. 
Maybe Kean asked her for a selfie. Maybe that's why they were picking on her for agreeing to it. Or maybe the opposite. Maybe she asked him for a selfie, and that's why they're super mad at her. You should know better. You shouldn't be hanging around a man like him. I don't know, but there's a lot to unpack there psychologically. And um, I don't know, just that those smiling with your eyes. You can't fake that. You can't fake that. And I just think it's really mean, including one of her ex-staffers, Jeremy Nole, I think is his name, was like furious. Why don't you let grandma go out and have a good time? Like, why are you hating? They see me rolling. It's like, the, it's like when that lad was out with the pups. They hating. Give me them doggies one more time, the ones in, on the car. Like, you see that, and there's two, re- there's two reactions, three reactions. One is... Look at the dogs having a great time. The other is, how dare you? How dare you? What's your reaction to that? Look at that smile. Some guy's going to look at that and say, that's amazing. I love it. And some guy's going to react with anger to that. And there were a few people who made jokes about, I hope those puppies aren't going to, that's not lunch. I think it says more about you. It's like a Rorschach test, you know, those psychological ink blot tests. Put up that, put up the two friends again. Put up Rachel Notley and Kian Bexty. I think it says a lot more about the people. This is a wholesome picture, Kian and Rachel Notley. I wasn't really joking about an intimate relationship. I was saying that's how beatific her smile is. I'm not saying they have a romantic relationship. She's married, and I'm sure she's loyal, and this was just friends on the street posing for a Christmas selfie. Lot, look at those smiling eyes. I tell you, you find yourself a woman who smiles like that at you, you, you hold on, people. You hold on. You find someone who looks at you the way Rachel Notley looks at young Key and Bexie. There may be two generations between them, you got a Zoomer there, and you got a Boomer. And if that Zoomer and that Boomer can have a, a meeting in the minds, and I'm guessing there's a little bit of a hug going on, I can't see where their hands are. Like it's obviously an above-the-waist hug. If the Boomers and Zoomers can get together in peace like that, surely the rest of us can learn a little something. This is a beautiful moment. I'm going to change that. I, I'm going to make that my cell phone uh, Lock screen. So every time I reach for my cell phone, what time is it? Every time I reach for my phone to make a mean tweet, I look at that and say, whoa, whoa, do you have to be mean? The other side has feelings too. Look at that face. Look at Rachel Notley. That's L-U-V, people. It's not even L-O-V-E. That's L-U-V. That's even L-U-R-V. That's Lerv. There's one more super chat. Truth on the wind. Fukushima meltdowns is causing the climate change, not CO2 alert. Pacific Ocean is lost. Google whales washing up and scroll the images. Google whales washing up and scroll the images. Thousands dead. Well, that's a bit of a downer. Um, I was just ending on a really warm, happy place note there. But uh, yeah, I mean, listen, I will Google that because you got my curiosity. But I'd much rather end on a note about love. And if in this tough world of global cooling, when people are hard to each other and harsh, and everywhere you look, there's some Swedish Asperger's kid saying, how dare you? In that world, just to find a moment, give me the picture again of the two of them, just a moment where we can just put down arms and put down hard words and just love each other, brother and sister, or in this case, great-grandma and great-grandson, whatever it is. That's, that's something we got to hold on to. Hold on to that, people. And on that note, until next time, on behalf of all of us here at Rebel World Headquarters, goodbye, and keep looking for love. <laughs>